going on everybody my name is brian b-rex beekeeper and it's december yeah it's great uh 70 degrees here in florida it's nice i like it uh i don't miss the north i don't i don't miss it up there i'm ohio that's where i'm from uh yeah don't miss it so as i was putting my uh pollen patties in these hives i noticed that one's light. Ugh. So if you see my videos, you know that I've had some robbing issues lately. It's not fun. Maybe this one got it a little bit. I don't know. I have not been inside this hive yet. So before I do get started, uh, thanks for everybody for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for, uh, if you're new, thanks for coming around and, uh, Watch my videos. Uh, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Might as well say it now, you know. I always forget. You know, forgetting then at the end. So, yeah, let me get into this hive and see what is going on. At the most, we'll have to take this super off because numbers are down. You know, Ugh. you can tell because, you know, because because the way it is. So. A little bit of smoke. Gosh, I hope I don't lose another one. I lost my better bee box the other day. Yesterday, all the bees are gone. Robbing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, what's going on here. So I took this off, and I didn't see any bees clustered up here. And I was like, "Oh no!" So I closed it back up, got the camera, and I figure I'll go ahead and check these out. So yeah, gosh, there is really nobody home up here. See, very little bees. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see a little bit of bees there, but there's not much. The temperament's still good, so that's good. <clears throat> so what I'm looking for is what's going on, you know, if I can see anything that is alarming. Forgot to take these off. Gosh, I don't have any more nuke boxes that'll work. I got to get those built. So yeah, an empty one in there. Still? Ow. Nothing. Nothing. I hope I don't have to combine. I don't really want to. Nothing but honey on this one. Also, honey, is that a, oh, I had swarm cells. That's not good. They swarmed. That doesn't look that old. Hey, I got eggs. I got a queen. That's good. All right. But let me show you what I'm looking at here. I wish I would have noticed this before. That's what happens when you don't go in your hives regular basis. See these? See how they're just chewed up here? Right there. That is an old swarm cell. Old swarm cell. I don't know how old that is. But I do have eggs. So that's good. That's, that's really good. So I mean I do have a queen in here. Uh, that one frame of honey, that's that's pretty good. That's decent. Let's see what else I got. So that's two frames of not very many bees. So when I put that pollen patty in there, that might, maybe they'll kick that queen into high gear a little bit, even though it is December. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got eggs. They swarm. They must have swarmed pretty recent because there's no brood at all. No brood on this either. And there are a little bit of eggs inside. There are a lot. There is a lot of on this side. I like to walk around and check my trees. Because, gosh, this might have been recent. The first sign is the uh, absolutely no cat brood. That kind of lets me think that maybe they swarmed very recently. I mean, I was out of town for a little bit. Could have happened then. Oh boy, I broke a comb a little bit. Oh boy. I do not need that honey smell in the air. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and close them up. They got plenty of honey. Plenty, plenty of honey. This one's solid of honey. This one's got a bunch of honey. So I'm going to go ahead, close these up, and I'm going to reduce the entrance down to very little. Using my high end entrance reducers. Pay big money for these. You know, big time money. Palm branches. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that is all I could do. I don't have a nuke big, I don't have a nuke size box ready for this. That's what they really need right now is a nuke size box. So let me get this honey super. And I'm going to shake the bees off in there. Just so they could keep their numbers. Yeah, this is going to get robbed out, too. Get in there. I should have seen this a while ago. I remember one of my videos, I did check them, and I was like, ooh, I better check this hive. It's light. And I didn't. I did not get in there and check. And, well, I guess they were uh, possibly swarming at that time. So that means I better check. I think there's another one. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember which one it was. So let me go ahead and put this pollen patty on here. Put it right on top of the brood area. Let me try to get in the center. Usually I put it in the back, but most of the bees are up here at the center area. Get down there. Okay, so I'm going to lay this right here. Come on. Are you down? Come on, get down. Smash it like that. I'm not going to move the paper on top just because I don't want it sticking to the lid. Put this like that. There you go. Not much ventilation going to happen right there. So let me smash that down a little more. There you go. I'll give them a little bit of ventilation. All right. So I'll have to keep an eye on this one. This is my keep an eye on markers. Take this. Gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I got to give it to somebody or it'll just get robbed out in wax moss. Yeah, that stinks. Yeah, it's just, uh, it just reminds me I need to get into my hives more. Uh, gosh, it's been... Two months, maybe a month since I've uh, been into my hives, but like I said before in my other videos, or some of them, I don't normally 
go into my highs this time of the year just because uh, robbings. Seemed like every time I opened up a hive, I caused a rob. And it didn't happen this time, thank goodness. I mean, usually it's so fast. As soon as you open it up and you bees are everywhere. So I am going to put my fancy, you know, entrance reducer on. And I'm going to give them a small hole. That's it. All right, stand by. That's all I'm giving them. Just that little bit. That's all they're going to need right now. They could go now right there to right here. That's all. I mean, you can buy, you know, obviously buy the entrance reducers. I got them, but I lost them. <laughs> so that's going to do it for right now. Um, I got to reduce another hive. I got, well, at least I got to check on it first. Hopefully there's nothing going on. They just got too much room. I got two supers on and that, I can't, I can't have that. I got to, uh, I got to deal with that. So that hive, uh, I'm going to have to check uh, on them weekly. Get out of the sun here. Gonna shine right on me. So yeah, I got to, I got to keep an eye on these hives a little more. Especially in these 70 degree days, I need to get out here and do something. Uh, so far, most of all the other hives are doing really good. Uh, luckily, the my nuke size box over there that I just reduced is not getting robbed. That's good. Uh, so far, I lost one hive. So, yeah. Let me uh, keep on doing this, and uh, if I see anything else, I'll get my camera out, and you'll see it. So thanks for everybody for watching. I hope you all have a great Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you all. Happy New Year. I hope everything, uh, hope you all have fun. Hope you all have a good time. So I'll see you later. Later.